Hello everyone, it's Yasmin Kerkez from Moving Beyond Family Struggles and today I want to address a question that is asked of me a lot and also a question that I believe to be gaining awareness in the greater community and this is what is family estrangement? Now the term family estrangement is a relatively new label that has been given to relationship struggles and separation within the family. So what is this? What is family estrangement? Now, to help me with this definition, I'm actually going to turn to a book I have, which is a fantastic book called Family Estrangement, written by Kylie Aglius, who is a researcher and educator at the University of Newcastle in Australia. Now, in her book, she wonderfully addresses the, the definition and talks about family estrangement and says, despite an ever-increasing assumed knowledge and usage of the terms estrangement and family estrangement, there does not appear to be a common definition. In the media, blogs and chat rooms, family estrangement tends to primarily signify a lack of physical contact. It is often used alongside and in tandem with phrases and concepts such as family rifts, family conflict and cutoff. I define family estrangement as the condition of being physically and or emotionally distanced from one or more family members, either by choice or at the request or decision of the other. Now, I think that's a brilliant definition because, like we know, with all labels, there are many contributing factors that come into play when looking at the definition of what something is. But at the heart of it, at the core of family estrangement, it well and truly is that physical or emotional separation between family members. Now, another book which is fantastic is Fault Lines, written by Carl Pilmer, Dr. Carl Pilmer. And he supports this. In his book, he says, family estrangement, by that we mean situations in which a family member has cut off contact from one or more of their relatives. And he also addresses the emotional aspect of it. Emotional estrangement in which contact of some kind continues, but in an atmosphere of emotional distance and detachment. Now, the reason I drew on both of those books and definitions is to show that it can be emotional and physical. Um, brilliantly, like Dr. Dr. Carl pointed out, there can continue to be communication and contact within, within families and between family members, but there is that emotional separation. And both, both authors highly highlight the reality that there's also the physical separation. So let's look at numbers. Studies, research and surveys have shown that within the US alone, it is predicted that approximately a quarter of the population is affected in some way or another by family estrangement. Now that can be between siblings, it can be between parent and child, it can be between aunties, uncles, grandparents, somewhere within the family unit, there is separation emotionally or physically between those family members. Now, in terms of numbers, this means that anywhere between 60 to 80 million people within America alone are living with family estrangement. Now, the thing to remember also with family estrangement is that it's not an area that is openly talked about. Like I said, family estrangement is a relatively new label for that very reason, that people don't talk openly about relationship struggles, conflict and separation within their family. Now, this can be because a very real aspect of family estrangement is to struggle with feelings of guilt, shame, embarrassment. In regards to how the family unit is portrayed within society, we often keep it to ourselves rather than talk openly about the fact that we have struggles and relationship issues and separation within family. So this number this prediction that a quarter of the population is affected is actually considered a very conservative number. Now, the other reason I wanted to bring up numbers and, and predictions and approximations of how many people this affects is to help people realise that you are certainly not alone. Anyone experiencing and living with family separation emotionally or physically, anyone living with family estrangement within their family is not alone. This is a very, very common reality in the lives of many. Now, that was a very brief description of what family estrangement is.
Now, if you want more insight, if you want some more um, understanding of what family estrangement is, both of these books are on my website in the resource page and many other books are listed there as far as giving insight, help and understanding to the world of family estrangement. So please feel free to visit my resource page. Um, also send me an email to suggestionbox at yasminkerkes.com if you'd like help or further insight into any area of family estrangement. And thank you for joining me today.